All right, hello everyone, my name is Dennis and Dan, and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4. We are playing the Cossacks expansion with Japan. In the last episode, we had um, sort of invested our points that we had banked our military points mostly into our military tech, which is now at level 18. Very impressive for Japan, I think, in this time, so that's great. Uh, we are sort of almost on par with um, the Western nations, I believe. Let's take a quick look here. 18, yes, I think that's currently probably highest in the game. I'm guessing. But it seems uh, quite quite good. Uh, Ming is at 15 here and Buryasha is at 15 as well. Um, right, we also were paying off quite some loans. We have one loan left. I think we should be able to pay that off quite quickly now. And after that we can uh, try and invest some more in, for example, buildings, I think. Uh, province development as well because our provinces aren't developed at all I think so yeah there we go um, have we unmothballed you yes we have very good right because we are preparing to attack Buryatia Buryatia Bur Buryata I don't know um, so what we'll do is probably move you over here um, that will decrease our trade income for a bit but we want to get rid of these ships I think we want to rule the seas when it comes to um, attacking Buryasha. Um, right. I think that's all. I think uh, we can break the alliance and uh, and start attacking them, basically. Um, let's see. Army maintenance is up. Very good. Uh, we do have a claim on Buryasha, I think. Yes. On uh, this province, I mean. Udi. Is it Udi? Yeah. So we'll take that probably because uh, that would uh, give us a, a nice circle here. Very good. Um, yes. It's all good. Okay. Uh, we'll let time tick on for a bit until our ships have arrived, I think. It's a shame that this uh, stack is now uh, moving away, but that's fine. Actually, it's now in. So if we now break the alliance, are we in position? Sort of. Let's slow down speed. And we'll move this stack into uh, the country first, probably. Although we probably would need to uh, get together here. Um, let's just break the alliance first. That's uh, probably whoops, the best idea now. Um, dissolve this alliance. No! This will create a truce! I did not know that. Okay. How long do we have? Ah, uh, that's so stupid. Okay, it's fine. Um, truce, truce. So it's five years. That's sort of fine. Uh, in that case... Ah, sorry guys. Really had hoped that we could uh, finally attack them, but I forgot about the truce period. It's fine. I think uh, if we move at speed five, then we'll probably be able to... Uh... Okay, yeah. Military access cancelled. They'll no, probably be able to uh, attack quite quickly here. Eh. Why? Why did I forget? Such a shame. Oh, right. We are at legitimacy 100 now because of our new king. Who does also have an heir. Very good. Much Pahit accept a peace with Aragorn. Aragorn will give course. Corsica to Genoa. Aragorn will release Sardinia as a sovereign state. All these countries that tried to attack Machu Picchu have been failing quite badly because I think the Netherlands had attacked them as well. Yeah, bit of a shame for them. Okay, we are making some good points here. I've been doing for quite some episodes. Slapanikan. Uh, oh, jeez. We have crossed into our border. That is a bit of a shame. Let's hope that they cross back. I don't really intend to do anything about this here. Well, they are trying for this as well. I could really try and just give them what they want. No, I can't. Well, they are not going to break the country with these uh, few provinces. So I think we'll just leave it be for now. Um... National Empire, land maintenance modifier, let's go with um, National Empire. Because of the monthly costs. Yeah, they have crossed back now, okay, that's good. So, yeah, go, New Castile, take them out. 
Um, we'll just uh, get some dudes here probably and uh, take those provinces back, I think. I think that makes sense, right? Tea imports. Whoops. Uh, if we discard tea, civilization will swiftly follow. National unrest minus one. Advisor cost minus ten. We should dump it in, into the ocean. Um, advisor cost is... No, I think we'll go with mercantilism. So powerful. Great advisor has died. Uh, let's get a new one. Colonial range. Eh, not useful at all, but I think we had that before. Okay, some dudes here. Excellent minister. Reap the administrative benefits or military. And I think we'll go with administrative again because we aren't at full stability. Uh, 25 prestige is very nice as well. Jeez. Okay, we have controlled the province now. And they are actually attacking us. And winning. Okay, you guys go over there. No, can't. Um, hmm. We'll just see what happens, I suppose. It's a bit of a shame, this. I still hope that they cross back into uh, New Castile here. Yeah, there we go. Um, I guess we'll wait. Trade dispute. I don't want to raise an army against these guys, although they probably are not very, very uh, militaristically uh, advanced. Nah, but it seems like such a waste to uh, take out some mercenaries. Right. Um, repay all loans. Yes. Finally, you guys. We did it. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Um, okay, we are close to 41 now. Close-ish. They aren't really doing anything here. 17k now. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. So many points. Didn't spend them quickly enough. Uh, let's go with the merchant man. Trade range and colonial range. And we I think we got a new... Oh, that's a new transport type. Yeah. And we've got a trade depot. Okay. Can immediately invest in a new level here. For navy, naval morale and a galliot. And uh, that's... Okay. I really wanted the... the um, frigate here. But that's just going to take some more time. Uh, right, I think we wanted to upgrade our uh, trade trade ships a few episodes ago, but we didn't have the money for it. So we will probably have that soon enough. We'll not spend those points just yet. We will spend these points here. Can okay, now build, build plantations. Force March is uh, next, up next. And we can take out a new idea here. I think we'll wait with that until we know for sure what we can do here with the uh, quantity ideas. That makes sense, I think. Military power is almost up to 19 now. Perhaps we should take that first over... Let's just move back to our main country, by the way. Um, over to the Young Conserve. Because uh, we've got a new dude here as well. The Asian Musketeer. I think that makes sense. Um, Bukara except the peace. Probably don't, do not exist anymore. Ming. Jeez, Ming, Ming, Ming. Oh, that's actually these guys. I wanted to ally those. But they are too far away. Uh, for us. That's why I wanted to, to go on and take Buryasha. It's going to be difficult to fight against Ming. That's That much is clear. Uh, corrupt Viceroys. Take action. Global terrorist minus 10% for 10 years. Uh, or turn a blind eye. I think we'll go with the global terrorist minus 10. Sort of fine. Uh, tyrannical nobles. Turn a blind eye. Or chastise the land o owner. Uh, nobility estate loses 10 loyalty or lose one base tax and gain 10 loyalty I think we'll lose the loyalty probably yeah we lost a, uh, a bonus there though that's a bit of a shame military leader has died that's a conquistador we just hired I think yes such a shame we'll hire a new one who's actually not that good eh. Oh well, it's so fine. England, end of the civil war. They went with order has finally been restored to the parliamentarians. Okay, gain 50 prestige and 2 stability for England. Good for them. 
uh, uncreative philosopher, allow him to remain free, lose 10 prestige, clergy lose some loyalty or lose one stability, and clergy gain some loyalty. Let's take a look at our loyalty levels here. Actually, not that high, so let's uh, go with uh, gain loyalty, lose the prestige, uh, the stability. And we'll boost it. There we go. Okay, are we now close to 41? Almost. Jeez. March. Just half a year. Okay, I think we'll... Um, mm, let's see, how can we do this? Our tra trade fleet will probably need to be up here to attack against the other uh, trade fleet. Spice trades. Gain some ducats and prestige for Castile. You won't go at home, uh, to home at war. That's good. We'll just probably just meet them somewhere then. That should be fine. Okay, so close, so close. I really want to attack those guys. Seems like a waste all these months that we've been uh, doing nothing, but I think it's the only uh, way to get one over Castile. Okay, now, truce expired. Here we go. Yeah, okay, great. They are actually in range as well. You'll just go over there. Um, I think that's it. That's uh, time to attack now. Can't see their troops, but that's fine. And logical as well. Um, do we have military access? No. That's good. Uh, declare war. Take Udi. Don't call in the allies that we have. That's it, right? That's all we need. Uh, quickly take a look at military army maintenance. It's all good as well. We are actually over our force limit. It's because of the dude in... Uh... Yeah. Actually, they are going to attack then. Let's... Uh... No, we really need you guys. It's going to be a battle here. So I think those rebels will be gone. And then you will... Yeah. We will use you to get this done. And then we'll disband you. And then we're no longer over our force limit. Um, okay. Here we go. Declare. War goal, yes. Okay, we are immediately in a fight with those guys. That's good. You will move in. You will move in as well. We'll leave a uh, siege behind and then we'll move on. And we'll probably need to uh, siege this uh, thing here. Because of the forts. Which is a bit of a shame. By the way... Should have probably done this first, but I th still think we can do it. Yeah. Bit derpy. There we go. Low morale. Should be fine within a couple of months. I think their troops are probably somewhere around here. That's where they were, at least. Okay, so we won that battle. Um, how about these these guys? It's actually three heavies. No, galleys. Perhaps we should be able to take them on with just these uh, guys. I'm debating, wh debating our, uh, whether we should uh, get our trade fleet back into uh, trading. I think we'll wait. Uh, until this is done. Yeah, that makes sense. So you guys go there. You. Uh, detach a siege. And I think we'll just wait for a tick here. Yeah. Casus Bella against the Zaplanek. How are they doing? Let's pause. Fighting on two fronts here. Okay, they are actually done. Rebels are gone. Okay, so you are disbanded. I herewith disband you. Um, yeah, and that's it. Let's hope that we quickly get another tick here. Okay, let's, let's uh, wait. Move over there. Uh, yeah, they are moving away, so that's good. I really don't want uh, our low morale al armies to be attacked here. They need probably two more months to be at full morale. Okay, there's going to be a naval, naval battle here. Which is fine, because we can easily take them, I think. Although galleys will be more effective. No, that's going to be fine. Okay, uh, they are moving in now. No, they aren't. Okay, but we are moving in anyway, because this is a bit of a droopy thing here. Uh, let's move you there. Yeah, okay, so we do have the war goal now. Uh, we were off to a bad start, but that's gonna be fine with any second now. Just one tick, and then we are almost at full morale. Yeah, it's almost, okay. We won this battle, so we'll leave the transports here, and we'll 
get you back to trading. Because I think that's all of their uh, ships gone. Yes, they don't have a navy anymore. So we rule the seas here. Um, any missions that we can do? No. Okay. Uh, I think we'll just keep the points in the bank for now as we are in a war. And uh, after this tick, I think we will be at full morale and then we'll probably just attack these guys here. Let's get you together. Army composition is fine-ish, could be better probably, I don't know. I think we needed some more horses. Okay, where are they going? Are they attacking us? No, they are actually going there. Let's see if we can uh, get in there before them. 22nd of August, we are arriving before them. If they... No, they stopped. Okay. Well, then uh, in that case, we'll just... Well, they have quite a big, big army now. Should we just um, hire some mercenaries here? That makes sense, I think. We have the money to do it. The attrition is quite brutal now, though. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, 30 August, 14 August. So again, we will be first. No, they stopped again. Okay. I think we can just attack them after uh, our mercenaries have uh, full morale. Again? Jeez, so annoying. Could we maybe split it up and uh, see what happens? Will they keep it up? 6th of October, whoops. 6th of September, yes. In that case, yeah, okay, so if they are locked in as well, then we'll probably just move all our troops there. I think then we have baited out quite a nice war. Okay, they stopped. Fair enough. In that case, we will move you all together and then we'll attack. That's all our troops together now, yes. We don't have a good leader, but neither do they, so that's fine. I think if this uh, st stack is gone, then that's probably war done. That's all that is in the war, right? Yeah, California as well, not doing too much. Okay, 51 against 37k, and we have a an advantage of 15 to, what was it, 19? 19, yes. Now it's gonna cost us so much to uh, increase this level, so that's, now Now this is the time to actually start pumping in points to uh, this, the young conserve, and so on. We are now losing money, but that's because of our um, massive amount of uh, uh, mercenaries. Where are they going? Jack Lure, but you are probably going to be too late, yes? Okay, so this is it, guys. Exciting times. At least I hope it's gonna be an easy battle, right? Should be. Yes. They see us coming. I can see them coming. Okay, yes, yes, very good. Oh, it's so easy! Not stack wiped. Um, okay, they have been training some more troops. Um, so let's see what it can do. Where are they going? Onan Gol. Um, let's just follow them first. What? Holy moly. Is that because of the fort? Oh, not that business again with the forts. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not this province per se. We can move here. Let's do that. Um, let's see. first leave a siege behind of 1.5. That's fine with me. Then we'll get this stack done and we'll just uh, swoop up some of those t tiny troops. Uh, advisor has died. <sighs> okay, National Armrest minus two. That's good enough with me. I'm excited, you guys. Keep, I, I noticed I, I'm talking quite quickly now, but that's uh, because of uh, the state of the game. It's exciting that we can finally do something back against uh, Buryasha and, and hopefully with that Ming in the future as well. Okay, we ad uh, have finally managed to siege that province. Stack wipe those two dudes over there. Yay for us. Um... And I think uh, we will attack them again. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. So we'll remain here, probably, and do nothing. Could we... I think we might want to split you guys up and then uh, 
get them back together whenever we are attacked, probably. Okay. Ah, oh, such a shame, though. It's gonna take so long, probably. Fort level 4 as well. Okay, we'll just have to be patient. That's uh, how it goes, I suppose. Don't want to get them too far out of each other. Too far away from each other, the, the, uh, the actual stacks here. So... I think we should be fine. We'll just keep an eye on uh, when they uh, move in. And then we'll quickly move some troops around. I think that, that helps. I don't like the forts. There's been a lot of uh, chatter about how the forts currently work. And, um, I'm not sure if I, um, I, I agree with how it currently works. The fact that we need to run all the way around here to get somewhere is a, is a bit of a shame. I, I can understand, though, why it works like that. And it makes sense, somewhat, that you are able to actually uh, close off certain uh, pieces of your country from invaders. Yeah, but still. Warriors do not read books. The sword is stronger than the book. And we lose the stability. That's fine. Okay, so we've got a 20 stack coming in here. See, the problem is that we couldn't follow them. If we could have followed them, then that meant... Uh, or at least, well, I, th I think we couldn't follow them. I, I couldn't see a way to do it other than just walking all the way around here, which is, I think, not ideal. Um, so if we could follow them, then that would have meant the end of the war. Now, you're still quite in danger of uh, being uh, swooped away here. Although I don't, I don't think it's going to happen, but still, it's a bit of a shame. And probably they have built quite a lot of forts. Actually, there's another 22 stack coming in here. That's quite impressive, I must admit. Uh, we'll get you guys together again. Uh, where are they? They are going to Urkan. Okay, that's fine. Um, there will be a battle here. We are moving there first. So we will bait them, I think. If they are locked in, we will probably detach a siege. How many dudes do we need? We need... Oh, we actually need 15 guys. Uh... So if we were to detach the seeds, then that would only leave about six to move over to uh, this province. So we will have to probably break the siege. No, uh, we could also just leave one dude and then not break the siege. I'm not sure what that will do to the percentage here. The siege won't progress. Oh, actually they moved away. The siege won't progress in that case, but we still would be able to... Uh, uh, to keep it. To keep it the siege, yeah. To not leave it behind and have to start all over again. Because we really need this fort, I think. We are getting there. We are being attrition quite badly. We, I think we already burned to, uh, through uh, 22k manpower. So that's, that's quite quickly. 3%. And where are they going now? Rukan again. So we'll move in again, I think. They will stop. They are going to Urkan again. We'll just keep uh, trying to bait them. Terror is too high. People in the colonies think that the prices of goods are too high. They blame the inflated prices on our terrorists and demand they should be lowered. Better show them who ruled the colonies. California gains 10% tariff value and 10% liberty desire or accept the loyal... I, I think we'll accept. I don't want to lose California. Even if that means uh, gaining a bit less income from them. If they are locked, then we will move. I think we can take the fight. Oh, uh, we are paused. Jeez. Lol. No, okay, they are moving away. We probably could have kept this siege going as well, but I'm not sure if it's necessary. I just want to be able to follow them through their country. And I don't think this country, this uh, province stops us from doing so. If we have this one, though, then I think we could move uh, quite a long way through the country. The siege is progressing quite nicely. Kirenga, they are going to right now. And, and going back again. I, I think they just wanted to visit some uh, relatives or something. I don't know. That's fine. Could speed it up a bit. Although we do need to... Oh, they're actually uh, trying to circle us here. Which is fine as well. Onangur. And now they are going back again. Okay. Should we build a fort here? Just, uh... With that? I don't know. Oh, we can't afford it. We are over our force limit, after all. 
That makes sense. We can uh, we can take a look at what we can do after this siege is done. It's taking quite a long time. Let's hope that after this tick uh, we can be uh, finished with this. We could have uh, probably assaulted it, but might have actually been a better idea because then uh, we would have uh, prevented quite a lot of attrition here. Okay, siege is done. Uh, where are they going now? They are actually standing still here. Onangol, they will arrive there. We'll go over there, I think. Uh, should we move with them? We're still sieging here, actually. Let's just see what this siege does. In that case... Can we move here? No! Jeez. Okay, we'll wait. We'll see what they do. Peace offer? No. We're not lo not done with you by a long shot. Let's go back to Urkan to get these guys. No, they won't take it. Oh, we actually were locked in. Okay, that's a, sh a bit of a shame. This circle, I mean, why? We we've got this fort now, right? Okay, we are now attacking into them. They are not doing anything. We'll probably just uh, abandon this siege and... Uh, yeah, I think that makes sense. How many people do we need? Still 15 as well. Uh, but I think we need to actually jump in. Well, we don't have a leader here. Uh, can't do anything about it just yet. Because we are not in friendly territory. Can we? Yes, we can. Okay, well, that's great. Okay, there we go. This uh, This dude will follow quickly after. And probably they will join in as well. Okay, there we go. Oh, very easy fight again. They are locked in now. Let's see if we can stack wipe these guys before they, they move in. That would be very nice. When are they going to arrive? 13, so we've got a couple of more days. Yes. Very, very nice. And then we'll join... Eh? What happened here? Oh, that's because of the fort. This fort? Lost the siege here. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, but we can easily take it back. It's just a shame that it happened in the first place. Should have left one dude behind, probably. Actually, we are sort of losing here. So you guys... Yeah, two days. We aren't losing, per se, but... It's a difficult fight. That's, that much is clear. There we go. Very nice. And I, I hope that we can now actually follow them. This time around. Nice. Okay, let's try it. Let's see what happens. And let's actually leave um, one dude behind. I don't want to rename you, but all right. Um, you guys stay here. And then, yeah, you are still moving. Yes. Just to cover for this dude. Don't know if he. Yeah, now he stops. Okay, that's good. Okay, so there will be a fight here. We're moving all together to the next spot. So slowly. And we really should take this back as well. And we will. In a bit. Okay, let's hope that we can catch them. I think we can. No! Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, okay, in that case... We will follow you again. And you. Costing us a lot of attrition, but I think this is uh, very important now. To go after them. It's a shame that we didn't catch them, though. Can we split you up? And you go over there and get it back? Uh, not sure if that's worth it, though. We'll see. Okay, they're probably burning through their manpower quite rapidly now. Um, whoops, armies, uh, Buryatja, let's see. Yeah, all done. Only 400 left. So that's very good. This is a shame. We, w we will have to uh, wait here until all our troops are here and then we'll attack this uh, last stack that they have. We want a battle somewhere. Oh, it's probably uh, something that spawned here. 
Or should we attack them straight away? Because the low morale. Let's do it. They will follow soon after. I want to get this uh, morale tick. Yeah. Let's wait and let's go as one. The morale has come back now, so. Uh, when we will arrive? 27 December, so that's before another morale tick, but I still think... Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, we will consolidate, by the way. Close the ranks. It's gonna be a bit of a difficult fight, but I think we can take it. Peace offer. No, we won't take that. Okay, there we go. Yes, good rolls. Okay, we gained the war goal again. Um, anything else happening here? Yeah, they will probably attack us, I think. Because they have been building some stacks here. Let's first get this done. It hasn't been going as, uh, as well as I hoped. We aren't making a lot of casualties here. Numbers are roughly staying the same. We need to roll a bit higher, that's basically what I mean. Ah, there we go. And nine. Yeah, that immediately helps. Still not a good battle, though. Eh, oh well. War exhaustion high. Right, I think we'll put in a cut for now. Uh, the war hasn't been going as well as I hoped. But I think already... Yeah, we would be able to take over quite some lands here. Quite a bit, actually. So that's good. So uh, perhaps we'll uh, look at that in the f in another episode, in the next episode. But I still I, st I still think we could take more. We'll see. In any case, uh, for now, thank you guys for watching again. I uh, really appreciate you guys being here and uh, wanting to uh, listen and and look at this uh, while we play uh, play this game. Very uh, very exciting. Uh, so thanks for that. Uh, if you liked the video, then don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already uh, to get more. Uh, updates whenever I release a new video. Right, that's it. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.